What's going on everybody, JC Aspie here, and welcome to episode 5 of season 2 of our Minecraft Let's Play. Now in the last episode we installed this little storage system here. Uh, we used uh, these stone bricks that are found in the stronghold, and I basically just set up these chests. Uh, now I haven't moved much into here off camera. I moved some cobblestone, uh, the dirt sand and that's about it so you haven't missed much uh, i'd still have a lot of inventory to transfer over here and that's what i'm going to do today also uh let's sprint over here if you guys remember in episode four uh, i told you that i was going to be starting this uh small little mining quarry so i just wanted to show you guys how far i've gotten so not terribly far but i did make a bit of progress on it uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I have been sick the past three or four days, so, uh, you know, I've just been kind of laying around a bit. Didn't play too much Minecraft, but uh, I tried to play a bit. Uh, that's how much work I was able to get done. Uh, so, as I said, I, I am a bit sick, but uh, that means if I do cough at all, I'm sorry. I'll try to cut all of the coughing fits out, but uh, there's nothing I can really do about it. Uh, now, before I get started, I also want to tell you all that I found in that uh, mining quarry is six pieces of iron. You guys wanted to make sure uh, you weren't left out on any of my findings. So, guys, all I found is uh, six pieces of iron so far. It hasn't been uh, really that great yet, to be honest. Okay, so the first thing I want to start off today with is a, uh, a furnace room. Uh, so in order to do that, we need to come over here and grab some cobblestone. Now luckily, thank, uh, thanks to the fact that I have been doing some mining in that quarry, I have been able to get enough cobblestone to, uh, to make enough furnaces. So let's grab that. Now I'm not sure exactly where I want to do it. I kind of have an idea of something that I think would be kind of cool. I just don't know how great it's going to look yet. So, uh, let's make up eight furnaces. Just like that. There we go. Alright, now, now comes the question, uh, where are we gonna put it? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure yet, but, uh, we'll just have to figure it out, I guess, as we go. Uh, so we're gonna pick up these furnaces here because, uh, there's no reason of leaving them out here in the open when I have a furnace room, so... You know, obviously, we're going to move these out of here. Alright, now for the uh, the big part. Where are we going to put them? Now, I kind of wanted them to have their own little setup room. But, I was thinking of putting them in the ground here as well. I would just, uh, I just am not I'm really sure. I kind of wanted to make a second story on this little... Uh, work area here and have the furnace room up a story the only problem with that is uh, I don't know if I have enough stone bricks to continue the process because I only have uh, 28 left over uh, so that's the reason why I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do yet uh, when it comes to that all right uh, let me think about this for a sec hmm what would look the best Alright guys, uh, I'm back here, and I've kind of got an idea in my head now. I just had to uh, step aside there for a second to uh, just uh, get the thought in my head because I didn't know uh, for sure what I was going to do. Uh, but now I think I've got an idea that seems maybe doesn't look the best, but it's going to be the most functional idea, and you know that's what we're going for here. So what we need to do is make a couple of ladders. So we're going to grab a whole bunch of sticks here, and... We actually don't really need that many, but uh, it doesn't hurt to have ladders lying around. There's always a use for them. So uh, we're just going to craft up a couple of them here. Eight should be plenty. Now let's sprint back over. Oh, there's a chicken. You mean an animal actually can spawn on my island? Well, I guess we're going to have to kill it. <laughs> nice. At least we got a, a bit more chicken meat. Okay, so... uh. What I'm going to do is, instead of building up one layer, I'm going to go down a layer. Uh, it just seems like the most uh, reasonable idea, the most, uh, you know, the best way to go. 
So uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm sure it'll drive people crazy if I have dirt there. So uh, I'm going to turn this into uh, stone bricks here. That way it just all kind of matches. Now eventually we're going to have to get more stone bricks and be able to create the whole thing out of stone bricks. But uh, for now it should be plenty. Now if you see here I'm not actually digging down. I am floating on the ladder. So nobody give me... Uh, problems about digging straight down. Oh, I forgot to uh, do stone bricks behind there, didn't I? Alright, let's get those down. Very good, very good. Okay, so now let me see something. We need to go over one to the right and two to the left. So, like I said, over one to the right and two to the left. All right, now we can uh, extend the roof up here one. So now we got to find out how many over we have to go. So we have to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to dig this out, and uh, I'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, so uh, we've got this entire uh, underground section dug out. Now, uh, the main purpose for this will be the uh, the furnace room, but I guess we could put more storage chests down here if we needed to. Maybe if we need some uh, more cobblestone storage or something like that. We've got the room at least down there now to work with. So uh, what we need to do here is grab some wooden planks, or uh, I guess logs. That reminds me, we also need to start a tree farm. I mean, I know there's a lot of trees around here that I could obviously uh, grab from, but I don't want to mess up the uh, the scenic look of the whole area. So uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually mess with the torches. Or not the torches, but the uh, <laughs> the trees. Got my mind on two different things right now. Alright, so what I want to do here is uh, change the entire roof to wooden planks and I'll probably end up changing the floor to wooden planks as well uh, but I just want it to look a lot cleaner than wood be or than uh, than dirt actually because uh, dirt kind of makes the room look unfinished or like you didn't take any time to uh, you know make it look nice so we definitely don't want that to happen so uh, let me get this uh, roof changed to wooden planks here and I'll be back in a minute All right, so uh, now we've got the roof all wooden planks. Now, for the floor here, I kind of want to make it all uh, stone bricks, but I know I don't have enough uh, stone bricks to do that. So, one of them, so what I'm going to do is outline the, uh, the perimeter of the floor here in stone bricks and then fill the middle in with something like logs or planks or something of that nature. So uh, let me get working on that, and I'll see you when I'm done. Oh boy, we need one more stone brick to finish out the floor. That's going to really, really irritate me. Uh, so we'll have to get some clean stone cooking up just to finish that out. Alright, so now uh, to fill in the middle here, I'm going to use wooden planks, as I said. Uh, I feel that that'll look the nicest. Uh, let me get some torches out here so you guys can uh, actually see what I'm doing. Alright, so uh, we got that part done. Now, I am going to run up here real quick. Well, actually, I think it would be best to get the uh, the furnace room set up first because uh, I won't have any furnaces to actually cook up the clean stone with. Uh, let me run back here and go to sleep first, though. Alright guys, so uh, what I want to do is I want to have the furnaces indented in the wall here, or uh, 
Now, I don't know if you'd call it indented, but I want them back one in the wall here. Uh, that way they're not just uh, standing in the middle of the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out a too high little area here back in the wall. And uh, this is where I'm going to where I'm going to be putting the furnaces. Now, I don't know if I have grabbed enough. I don't think I have, but uh, I just want to get this set up a certain way. So yeah, I am going to uh, need a couple of more, obviously. So let's go grab that. Alright, there we go. So now what we need to do is uh, put the... I want to put a large chest here in between uh, this little section here, obviously where it, there's an opening. And uh, what this is going to be... do, uh, what, the, yeah. <laughs> what the use of this chest here is going to be for is it's going to store things like coal or uh, items that I wouldn't cook up like sand or cobblestone. Uh, things of that nature that would naturally be near the chests here. Uh, so that's why that's there. Now speaking of which, we have to, let's see, we have to get a couple of uh, clean stone cooking up here. Alright, so let's get that going. Now I do want to clean up this room here, but I'm not exactly sure. I, I think... Uh, I think I'll probably end up just leaving the, uh, uh, let's see how am I going to do this, but just put those in. I think I'm going to end up leaving the walls all clean stone. I think that'll look the nicest with the roof and the, uh, the floor here. So we just need to get a bit of more clean stone cooked up, and then we can fill everything in. Uh, it's going to take a while. Alright, so uh, while we wait for that to get done, I saw that when I was digging offline on our quarry here I saw that our farm had started to grow in our wheat farm now the wheat farm just takes way too long to grow in it's not a very good source of food but it is a source of food nonetheless and it is almost completely grown in except for these two pieces here uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that it is working it is almost done so I guess we can go ahead and grab whatever's done now uh, let me see if I can get into the water here without wrecking the crops. Nice. See, this is why you need the mine feed set up so stuff doesn't fall into the water. Alright, now I am going to leave uh, one of the pieces of wheat. I'm not going to harvest it because I want three pieces to harvest at the same time. Uh, I don't want one odd piece because then I can't craft bread with it. So uh, we're going to leave those there, but forgot to plant the seeds let's get that done real quick just hold down right click all right there we go so now our wheat farm is officially working we actually have got enough for what is that four pieces of bread yeah so that's not bad uh food is food and when you need food to survive any bit definitely does help man i'm like addicted to using this sword blocking feature now it's kind of distracting Oh man, fun stuff. <laughs> Alright, uh, our next biggest issue is we don't have coal. Now obviously charcoal is a pretty good alternative to coal, but uh, I don't have any logs left, which brings me to my next topic, which is the tree farm. We definitely need to start a tree farm very soon, because uh, if we don't, we are going to be in some trouble for sure. Alright, so uh, let's head down to the storage room, see how things are cooking. Alright, we got 16 pieces of clean stone. Now we just need one stone brick here. But, of course it's going to give us four, even though we don't need it. Uh, now we just need regular clean stone. We got 12 pieces of that. Any more finish? Uh, we'll get two more real quick. And uh, let's start changing out uh, this dirt wall here. Alright, so that looks a bit nicer. And now we need to do this wall over here. Oh no, it's sand. Man, sand falls. What can we put up there? Uh, I guess we can just put dirt back up here. 
then clean stone. Got any more? Uh, how many more pieces do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five, six more pieces. We don't need to punch off the torch though. Alright, so six pieces requires twelve sticks. So there we go. Alright, so while that's cooking, uh, we need to get our inventory sorted. I said I would do it on camera, that way you guys didn't miss anything. Now let me show you how I want my uh, storage setup here to work. These three chests here are going to be for cobblestone, clean stone, and stone bricks. You know, all the things that have to do with cobblestone or stone. On this side here, this chest is going to be completely for dirt. This chest is going to be for sand, sandstone, and glass. And this chest will be probably for gravel, most likely, if I ever get enough. If not, this will just be the second chest for dirt. Uh, that leaves the, these three chests here in the middle for the important stuff. Now, I want this bottom chest here to be food. I want this middle chest here to be valuable items like ores and, uh, you know, nice minerals. And then up top will probably be mob items. So, uh, we need to come over here and get our stuff sorted together. We also need to get our inventory in place. As you can see, I made a ton of pickaxes because, uh, obviously, you know, I was digging off camera a lot. So, I had to have a ton of axes prepared. Unfortunately, I accidentally shift clicked and made way more than I was hoping to, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Just have a ton of extra pickaxes lying around. Alright, let's see. Well, I guess we need to start getting the food over first. So, do I have any food in here? Yeah, I got wheat, seeds, eggs are food. So, we're going to replace that with chests. What else is here in here is food? Mushrooms are food. We don't need sand. Oh, I guess we'll take sand and we'll put back. Hmm. Put back iron for now. All right. So let's get this over here. We're also gonna put away some of these uh, solid blocks that I have on me. So cobblestone. Uh, this middle one's for stone bricks, and then the top will be for. No, actually, the the first two will be for cobblestone. The top will be for stone bricks and clean stone. Uh, here we got dirt, we got sand here. Alright, so let's get food sorted out. So, this vertical column here is going to be for all pieces of wheat. I hope to get enough stacks of wheat so that it fills up. The column next to it will be seeds. I will most likely fill an entire vertical column of that. Now, eggs, I won't get too many of them. Five is a pretty good amount in itself, so we'll leave that there. Now, with the new stacking feature, uh, when it comes to raw pork chops and steak and cooked pork chops, I probably don't need more than a single inventory space because uh, they stack up to 64, and if I get another stack of 64, I can just go down one block. So I don't need a ton of space for this, but uh, you know we'll leave a little bit of space for it. All right, we got our six clean stone. Let's cook up this last piece of raw pork, or uh, raw chicken, rather. Kind of getting the names mixed up because uh, back before 1.8, obviously, the only uh, source of food was like pork chops uh, when it came to meat itself. So uh, it's kind of weird having all these other additions now. Now, I guess I'll just eat this one piece. Alright, so let's get everything back in the chest. We need dirt. Dirt goes there. Cobblestone. Oh, we forgot a piece of food. Mushrooms. Now, it does seem like I'm getting a ton of mushrooms lately. So, I still don't think I'm going to get so much that it'll fill up a ton. Because I'm not going to collect too many more. So, I guess these two columns here will be for brown and red mushrooms. So, that can just stay there. Man, we are burning through days here. We've gone through like three on camera already. That's crazy. Alright, so next, uh, I guess we can do valuable resources and mob items. So, we need all this stuff. Rotten flesh, that sounds appetizing. <laughs> Iron ore, a bucket. What else? Oop, more mob items. No, I don't have room for string. I guess I'm just going to put back one of my million pickaxes. So uh, we got to go to sleep here.
Alright, yet another day on camera. Man, I cannot believe how many uh, day cycles we've already gone through. It seems like the day changes a lot quicker now. Or maybe it's just when you're recording and you're having fun. Yeah, that might be it. <laughs> Alright, so... I've actually changed my mind a bit on the setup here. I told you that this was going to be food, which it is. This was going to be valuable resources, and that this was going to be mob items. I'm going to try to combine the valuable resources and the mob items to one chest. And the reason for that is that I want a chest to hold wooden planks. Actually, though, now that I think about it, I guess I could take this gravel chest. Yeah, and make that wood. So, uh, forget that. This gravel chest is going to be for wooden planks. And this chest will still be for mob items. Uh, as I said, I'm trying to kind of come up with this as I go along here. So I'm going to make a couple changes every now and then to uh, the setup of our storage area. We need wool. I can go here. Rotten flesh. Leather. Uh, Gunpowder. Ink sacks. Ooh, cooked fish. That's food. Uh, that can go with uh, eggs here. Iron ore, that needs to be uh, smelted, but I'm going to leave it in ore form for now because I don't really have any use for iron. Iron buckets going in the valuable resources. Might as well continue to sort out our pickaxes here and our sticks and ladders. Fishing rods. Yeah, we got a lot of inventory here that we need to uh, get in line. Alright, let's see what's left in the chest over here. Alright, saplings, we need to start a tree farm, sugar canes, extra chests, stone hoes, uh, more pickaxes, joy oh joy, <laughs> more sand, and a fence post. So now this chest is empty here, so we might as well just uh, dig it up. And we need to move that workbench over to our little storage area as well. Whoa, a sheep! Uh... For those of you who don't know, I never get animals over on my island here, so it's pretty exciting when one actually shows up. Alright, so let's see. Wool is a mob item. It's going there. Hmm, what else? I'm actually going to lower this down a level here. And I think I'll store... I want to store saplings there, because I don't know where else saplings would be stored. So yeah, I think until I get a tree farm set up, I'm just going to store saplings in the mob items area. I know it's really not a mob item, but uh, I don't think it's doing any harm being there, to be honest. Alright, extra chests. Where does that go? I guess that can go with uh, wood, as can ladders, uh, and fence posts. Those are all made up of wood, so I guess it does make sense. And our wooden pickaxe that we still have from the very first night, which is... Uh, We'll see if we can keep it the entire series. Alright, so that sums up our chest area here and our uh, our little furnace area. So we definitely need coal. That's on the top of the to-do list. We have to hopefully find some coal in our quarry. Other than that, guys, I've been recording for roughly 30 minutes here. I hope you enjoyed Episode 5 of Season 2 of our Let's Play. And uh, I will see you all on Wednesday. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.